Hello and welcome back. This is video number four and I'm going to show you step by step how to get everything set up. Okay, so first things first, you are going to need to have access to WooCommerce before you even think about installing the memberships plugin. So to do that is fairly simple. All you have to do is simply go to plugins, click on add new, and you'll see this screen. Then you will need to go to the search plugins and type in WooCommerce. So it'll take a second to load as you see here. And this is what it is. Now I'm showing you a live e-commerce site that actually uses WooCommerce. So we already have that installed, but if you're starting from scratch, you're simply going to click the install now button, kind of like this one over here. And then of course, after it installs it, you'll have to activate it. So there, there will be a blue button that says activate and you can simply click that. Now, once you're done, what you want to do is you are going to see the WooCommerce over here. So from here, you want to go straight to settings. And the reason being is that the dashboard is simply going to show you the products. The orders are going to show you kind of like the reports. The coupons allows you to create coupons and of course memberships and customers. So all of these will most likely not really be needed until you actually launch the site. So if you go to settings here, you'll end up landing over here. Now under the general tab, it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. It'll be things like your address, uh, whether you're going to do shipping or not. Uh, you got products over here. So you can specify your shop page. You can specify the add to cart behavior. So for example, redirect to the cart page after successful addition. So when somebody adds something like to the cart, you can redirect them to the cart page. Now I have that unchecked because what if somebody wants to purchase more than one item? And then when you redirect them to the cart page, it just becomes annoying. But that feature is there just in case you have you may, maybe a few or you have a membership site and you only have one level. So that would be good for that. Then of course you go to payments and payments allows you to specify the different payment gateways that you want to connect to. Now we have it connected to Stripe, which is a credit card billing system. Now they have direct bank transfer, check payments, cash on delivery, PayPal, and more. So all you have to do is once you've enabled that, you click manage and you can simply follow the instructions and connect the two. So once that's done, you can go to accounts and privacy. Now this just allows you to create the experience. So for example, guest checkout, you can allow customers to place orders without an account, or you can allow customers to log in to an existing account. So it really depends on the experience that you want to create for your customers. So think carefully about your customers when you do this. Then of course we have emails, which are the automatic emails that are sent out, such as if somebody purchases, they get an email that says, congratulations, here's access to your product. Or if it's a physical product, you could say, we got your transaction and we are about to ship out. And then of course we have integration, advanced and memberships. So these are not really, we're not really going to focus on these because we're really going to focus on this one over here. So once you've installed WooCommerce, the next thing of course is to go to WooCommerce.com, purchase the membership plugin, download it, and of course install it. Installing is easy. I already have it installed here, but you simply do the same thing that I showed you earlier. You go to the plugins page, but in this case, you're going to actually upload the plugin. So you'll go click on upload. You'll choose the file. So in other words, if you download the files somewhere, you need to find that you pick the file, you click install now. And then of course you click activate. And of course, once you're done, you've got the plugin installed. So if we go back to WooCommerce, remember under settings, we had an option for memberships. 
Now, these are not the settings in terms of creating a plan. We'll show you that in just a minute. But these are mainly just the global settings. So for example, redirect members upon login. You can redirect them, let's say, to the members area or to a very specific page. Or you can simply do no redirect. So if you want to redirect people to, say, maybe a community page or an announcements page, and you want people to see that first before they access anything else, this is a good option to have. So we're not going to check any of these. We're going to go and create a membership plan. 